Aren't you glad we're doing this video today? That was a good one. Come on. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel, the best channel on the internet, Preston and Monique. Anyway, it's me, Monique here, and this massive thing between my eyes. As you can see, is it focusing? There it is. Look at that. Yeah, anyway, so he's joining us today. <laughs> so this video is all about American Tri South African snacks. Now, I've already been here for about a year and a half, almost two years, so I've got my favorite snacks, but there's some other interesting things that I will be trying today. So yeah, get ready for this, folks. It's gonna be quite interesting. Sure is. All right, and she's driving, so. Yeah. The ring of death. drives okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, shift those gears, baby. <laughs> shift those gears. Where are we headed? Mm, pick and pay. You pick and I pay. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Monique loves to park. Don't you, Monique? Yep. Alright, she's about to run over this guy. No, I'm not. I'm glad, Monique parked 18 miles away from where we need to go we're not actually going to steers <laughs> we're actually going uh, i can't even see it are you proud of yourself yeah i didn't bump any cars this time yeah i guess so because we parked at the house could have walked this is a current issue that's been happening quite often happening, happening quite often anyway Monique loves to bring 500 things with her everywhere she goes with no bag. But whose bag does she like to put it in? My man satchel. <laughs> that's already stuffed with 800 things. And this is a brick that weighs 5,000 pounds and her mini tablet as a phone. So, yeah, thank you. We have our little list of things that we gotta get. And our first thing is... Milk tart. No, in Afrikaans. Milk tart. Well done. Yeah. What do you have? What do you? <laughs> what do we have there? Sisters that cook. <laughs> and in Afrikaans. Cook sisters. Well done. Well done. All of promises. The Isle of promises. Welcome. The buggy is filling up. Excuse me, the trolley is filling up with goods. These people don't have knickknacks. Knickknacks? Yeah, they do, right down there. You're blind. What is it? Knickknack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Dang, spitting those rhymes today. Yeah. We've got our supplies ready to vomit. It's stuffed with a bunch of stuff. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. I think so. I don't know. You want to tell everyone hello on the internet? What's your name, my friend? Patrick. Hey? My name is Patrick. Patrick. And you? Preston. Awesome. Thanks, Patrick. You can just throw it back there, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. You're a champion and a winner. All right, are you driving? Are you sure? Oh, the kid's awake, and the mom's awake. Are right, we gonna get out of here? As we were just getting our snacks in order and everything, we got a notification turned down for freaking what? 
that we just hit 800 subscribers. Yeah, that is so awesome. Focus, focus, and... Okay, anyway, that's awkward. Yeah, okay. so if you haven't seen that we've got 800 subscribers, please go make sure that you go to it and you subscribe. And make it 800 plus. Yeah. Because we, we're 200 away from 1,000. Yeah, we really, really 800 are shooting plus 200 for that 1,000. We need you guys' help, so please, 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 if you haven't subscribed yet and you love our videos, or if you, if you don't like our videos and you hate them, please go and subscribe. Okay, so while we have our, while we have our coffee, we are going to start the video with something that is proudly, proudly South African, and that is Oma Biscuit, uh, or Oma Rusks for our English-speaking people. And the way that you eat a rusk is you dip a oma. Dip a grandma, that's so, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so there's your rusk. Mm. And you have I'm to very cautious, it. yes, because I cracked a tooth yesterday, folks, <laughs> and I had to go to the dentist here and get it fixed, so. Yeah, so it has to be nice and soft. Not too soft. Mmm, cardboard. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. Like I like, I like these. These are good. Next, we have ourselves a milk tart, or <laughs> what is it in Afrikaans, Bracey? Milk tart. Milk tart. Milk tart. We have to. Cut it first, mm. or just get it up. Okay. Jeez. <coughs> Gosh. Stuff's dangerous. It has cinnamon on top, and I inhaled. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No. That's like finally. Good. It's fresh. It's good. Falling all over the place. My favorite but part. I'm not a fan of milky stuff. I don't like milk. Even with cereal. <coughs> Jeez. I don't like drinking milk. It only in my coffee and stuff. But this has a very milky taste. And I don't really. I like it. I love milk tart. Tot. Whatever. But I like the cinnamon. The cinnamon makes it good. So. We have ourselves. Uh, Lacquer Kuksister, which is one of my personal favorites. If it's made right, it needs to be crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Like me. <laughs> You're crunchy on the outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's like it. Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Mmm, they smell good. Yo. Yeah. Weed. I really like these and I have tasted these before but it really does depend on who makes it if mm -hmm. it's not some of them are too liquidy in the middle or dry or dry but these or are too I don't like the ones that are so so liquidy in the middle but these are these are okay these are a little bit liquidy in the middle I just realized that we never said who asked uh, for which who asked? thing. Who um, suggested? Who suggested it. each thing. So we're not gonna do that, but we would like to say thank you guys so much for giving suggestions. It really helped us a lot because I couldn't think of probably South African things. Um, and starting with the first thing, everybody asked for us to do zoo cookies. So there you go. I'm really scared to eat anything hard. Gee. So? It's good. I don't know what it tastes like. Yeah, it's a very different taste. Um, it's a little plain. But if you start to eat one, you have to eat the whole pack. So let's continue. <laughs> Next, we have Mari biscuits. Mari biscuits. Tastes like a cracker. 
Yeah, it's it's a very like Not natural sweet. taste, but it's still really good. And all you American people, biscuits here, cookies are called biscuits here. Yeah. No. Yeah, it is. Okay. Next, lemon cream. I'm a lemon fiend. I love anything yeah. with lemon. And I'll define fiend for you at the bottom there. <laughs> Love lemon. Physically cannot remember what these are called, but I do know that Prison has tried this before and it's one of his favorites. It's those delicious jammy cookie things. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Here's also, I think, my favorite cookie in South Africa. Mm -hmm. No lie. Or this. Just show them this. This. Yeah. Thing. Baker's cookies. All of them are the best. Someone said we should do this. And I don't say it's one of my favorites, but we'll let Preston decide. It has a very... It's your favorite? No. It's and just plain. plain. Like yeah. a sugar cookie almost, but not as sweet. Number one thing in life that I completely hate. This. <laughs> Trying to get this thing onto this <laughs> is the worst thing on planet Earth. So that was just one of my pet peeves that I never really realized how much I hated it till just now. Yeah. And I've been sitting here for about three minutes trying to get it on and it's impossible. So shout out to all the rest of you guys that completely hate <laughs> putting this clear plastic thing back on a tray. The thing we're trying is speckled eggs. Now, I don't know if this is proudly South African, but it is definitely one of my favorites. And I don't think Preston's tried it. I like these, but then I don't. I'm not a, I don't understand who thought of mixing jelly with chocolate, but it just doesn't go for me. So once I defeat the jelly part and then get into the chocolate, they're pretty good. Anyway. So basically you don't like it. <laughs> okay, next we have licorice. Now, I know there's, there's different kinds of licorice. This right here isn't like, Licorice, 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 but they do have these in them that oh, are like sis. legit licorice. Disgusting, don't do this to me. <laughs> sorry, sorry fam, absolutely not. You're gonna destroy the lives of many South Africans. For that I reaction. completely <laughs> apologize. Absolutely not though. Yeah. Can't do it. I don't I don't I don't like the just straight on black licorice, but if it's like this or just even the other ones with filled, it's good. I can eat it. Well you continue to eat it because huh. I will not. Next we have a TV Ooh, wow, it was upside down. A TV bar. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is something that person has tried, even though he has tried many, many of the candy bars. Um so this is wrecking me right now because yesterday I went to the gym and actually got my life back on track. Well, goodbye to it all. Oh my lord. Delicious. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's good. What's in it? Tropical coconut, crunchy rice puffs, and smooth white chocolate. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's pure deliciousness. Really they sweet. They have different flavors. I love that coconut. Flavor is my favorite. I'm a coconut fiend. If you don't know what fiend is, I'll put it down there at the bottom point. Next we have a chomp. Are you supposed to chomp? <laughs> mm. Caramel, but it's really good. I can eat it. But it almost kind of tastes stale. Kristen has tried these, but everybody said we should try it. Um, I think Kristen, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say how, what you think about these. Fizzers. This is probably my most favorite South African sweet 
sour candy, whatever, you know? Sometimes they're not even really sour. These but are these two are my favorites. Just so you guys know, if you want to send us some in the mail as like a <laughs> gift because we're awesome, send me fizzers. Oh, it's soft, yay. I love it. It's so good. It's amazing. Doesn't mix well with all this garbage we've been eating. Though. <laughs> Next. Show down, Hoss. <laughs> Next we have a sweetie pie, which- You're a sweetie pie. <laughs> oh, alright. That was unexpected. Um, yeah, well, let's cut all that open. Honestly, the first thing I thought of when I saw this is it looks like a kneecap. I don't know. That's just what I thought of. Huh. I'm really, I don't know if I said this, but I'm not a fan of marshmallow really too much. She's a marshmallow fiend. <laughs> if you don't know what fiend is, I'll put fiend at the bottom there. You already did. Anyway. But this is actually really good. This is, I can eat this. I can eat this, this is good. Next, we have something that is- Ah! It's all over me. Well, I should have opened these before we started. But next we have something that is, well, I would say, really proudly South African. And surprisingly, no one said we should try it. Um, it's cranberry and almond handmade honey nougat. And it's, Really good, in my opinion. <laughs> what? A yeah, marshmallow I mustache. <laughs> it's still on me. Okay. No, it's good. <laughs> eh, it's okay. Finally, something salty here. Okay, so. Ooh. I didn't realize that it's open at the bottom and now everything's falling on the floor. Uh, but something really traditional in South Africa is Mrs. Bull's chutney. You watch your mouth. <laughs> and that's the brand name. Uh, <laughs> okay. And so we didn't get chutney because I don't really know how to have it tried because you usually put it on top of stuff. So then we got Simba chutney. Chutney flavor. We don't have Simba in America. Yeah. Only he played in Lion King, but that was it. <laughs> That's mm. really good. I love those. These, these are probably, I will say, when I come to South Africa, I look forward to this. Mm -hmm. I, this is, yeah, I will say it's my probably my favorite chip, but if you eat more than five, your tongue and mouth is destroyed. Yeah. I don't know, it burns my mouth. I guess it's all but the But it has like a, a sweet, flavor to it. Yeah. That's what makes it. It's like sweet and salty, tangy. Yeah. I really like these. Yeah. Next, we have knickknacks, which is, ooh, yeah. very South African, but I do think that they have something similar in America. Yeah, these. Oh, that one tasted terrible. Right, what if this bag was open? Because when we opened it just now, the bag from the store, it was open. So if this bag has been open for the last three years, sitting at pick and pick. I oh! Yeah, it's They're extremely stale. Oh my gosh, no. bringing this back to pick and pay. Pick and pay, you failed me, okay? Yeah. No. I think there's something wrong with this bag. No joke, it tastes absolutely terrible. Let's move on. Yeah, because the bag has a, a slit, it was open. More. But we thought it busted in the car. Well, knickknacks basically taste like Cheetos. Yeah. Uh, from America, so yeah, anyway. Ugh, that's a fail. Wow. Um, next we have beef corn bites. These are absolutely amazing. What kind is this? Tomato flavored. Tomato, I've turned into an American. Tomato flavored. <laughs> Tomato. Mmm. So, I think the chutney and these are something we don't have in America whatsoever. So these are actually, I think these would say some of my favorite chips here in South Africa. Next we have probably the most South African thing that there can be, and that would be biltong and dribosh. This is like a snack for a Saturday rugby game, and yeah, generally just something that South Africans love, and most people that come here love it. So this is kudu. 
Brotherforce. Did I just say Bulldog? I always call this stuff Brother Force because my grandfather's name is Force, and when they say Buddha Force or Drew Force, I always think of Brother Force. So shout out to Grandpa Force. Anyway, mm, these are so good. Mmm, they're nice and this is good. Wait a bit. Yeah, so good. this is actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. But the only downfall with this, which I'm sure everyone else agrees. For the next Multiple three years, you'll be sitting like this, picking stuff out of your teeth. I'm literally yeah. gonna be 25 by like, the time I get all this out my teeth. So. We're probably gonna have to take a short break to get everything out of our teeth right now. Yeah. Mm. Okay, next. Extremely salty though. Bolton. I think it's beef bolton. Kudu. Okay. I think, I don't know. Okay, well. I really, really, really love Biltong. I will say, Biltong beats American beef jerky any day. Uh huh. And I like mine a little bit wet. I don't like it super, super, super dry. That because America's beef jerky is super dry. But this, it's like eating a steak or something. Yeah. I don't know. Really good. good. So shout out to South Africa. <laughs> For the biltong, you guys are doing it big. The next thing we have is Jeez. cold marmite, and it it's probably tastes some like termites. Convincing, termites. Eh. lol. It's <laughs> convincing to get Prison to try this because he's never had it before. It's not something that I eat. Um, well then, that cracker looks like it could be split in two, so why don't you try it? No, <laughs> it's okay. Um, this is something that you would put on a cracker or on a piece of bread and very, very South African. So, this is gonna be interesting. Let's get some of this. No, sis, man, don't. Come on, don't put that much. <laughs> Monique, I'm gonna gag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I'm sorry if I offend anybody when this touches my taste buds. Because if I go to vomit or something, look, I just, apologize. It's nothing against it. South Africa. Okay, wait. Nate, can you please just have it in your mouth for like three seconds? Like, just to get the ah. full taste of it. I'm not putting a lot. You're not putting a lot. You're painting that cracker just, <laughs> with this goo that's... I'm just making sure that you at least get that uh, one full corner of it. Stop. Oh. Uh. What is it though? No. Explain, explain to me what it is. It says yeast extract. Sis. I don't know if that is what it is, but thank okay. you. Moment of truth. Of oh no, man. <laughs> is it horrible? <laughs> Some people like it. Three seconds. One. Huh? It's burning! <laughs> no, it's sick. This is disgusting. <laughs> That's revenge for making me try hog head cheese in America. Oh, no. If you haven't seen that video, go check out our Walmart TV. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this one because, listen folks, I love eating healthy, but also I know how to tear up some junk food. And these five candies are literally my favorite in South Africa. If I were to travel all the way to South Africa and buy these, I would. So when I go junk food, I go all the way. So yeah, Preston has this thing where he wakes up every single night in the middle of the night and comes and eat one of these. If I have them or not, I have to search the kitchen for some. But anyway, let's start off. Lunch bars. Well, this one is actually really good. The chocolate one. Oh. What is it? A wafer biscuit caramel peanuts and crisp rice covered in a white chocolate coating. I love the I love the chocolate one, but it tastes too much like a Snickers to me. This so right here is good. I fell in love with this one. One trip I came and I literally went home with 36 of these. Not even joking. I bought 36 white lunch bars. Oh. 
Mm. So good. Haven't had it in forever. Be my bae. Always. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is what we call a pH bar. It's really good. It has like these layers of wafer, caramel flavored cream smothered in Cadbury caramel confection. Don't know, but it's good. All of them have different messages on them. You know, the chocolate speaks worlds. Anyway. Mmm. So good. I haven't had one of those in a long oh my gosh! I thought I just broke my tooth again. Oh my <laughs> lord! Okay. This right here is both of our favorites. My word! I what is it? Tear up a five star. A five star Cadbury milk chocolate plus caramel plus soft chocolatey century center. <laughs> century. <laughs> I don't know why I spell center like that here. Plus crunchy biscuits. This one's really good too. If you wake up in the middle of the night and find one of these, yeah. brother, you just hit the jackpot. They just say brother. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. What's the, oh wait. And then the last one. Oh, there it is. Crunchy. Really I good. think, <laughs> if I were to be completely honest, oh my Lord, I need some water. I think, If I were to be completely honest, crunchy and white chocolate lunch bars are possibly my favorite. Five stars there, but I'm a fiend for white chocolate. And if you don't know what fiend is, I'm gonna put the definition of it right down You've there. You said that three times. Anyway, what it is. crunchy milk chocolate with a golden honeycomb century. Center, <laughs> oh my gosh. It goes in your mouth because it's a crunchy. That's funny. So I actually love these so much that I went back home and me and my friend made some. So. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think this might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and comment and say which was your favorite treat that we tried and we'll and try it if, it if we didn't go we'll go back and try it yeah so please leave a comment and please share the video and subscribe help us to get to a thousand subscribers we're almost there folks we're almost there yeah so remember love god love people and, and love, love coffee, coffee.